Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Evilinger from GamerVets.com and uh, here we are with the first episode of Ninja Training with Evilinger. Here I am playing uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations um, multiplayer. I think this is a free-for-all. Uh, look at this guy. I don't know how he got a kill right off the bat the first like five seconds. Anyway, I'm a total noob at this game. Um, I don't know if you can see it here yet, but I think I'm level two or level, level three. I just started playing. I never played the one multiplayer from was it Brotherhood the last type of series. So I just jumped into here. Uh, I want to give it a try. It was actually kind of fun. Um, hard to get used to. I don't really know what the hell to do. Uh, don't really have any abilities. Or I didn't even go through the class setups if there is any. Um, right now I'm just doing the default guy. Um, I think I'm playing, like I said, I think it's free for all. Uh, wanted. Um, they should, we have that map. Uh, it's, a, it's a little like tracking device below, and then uh, there's I guess there's chases as well. Um, as you see here. It tells me that this guy's nearby, and I suspected that was her. But it wasn't. As you see, I killed a citizen, and I guess this uh, Mr. Mike Cabo ended up uh, hitting me right in the back. So like I said, I'm uh, pretty new to this game. It's I did the little tutorial. Um, it showed you about what some of the tips are. I guess uh, if, if you go too close, uh, you get warnings. The enemy gets warnings. Um, you can, I guess you can... If there's a pursuer on you, you can, uh, I guess, retaliate by stunning them, which I still haven't quite got the hang of. Um, some of the controls, I always get a little uh, weird on the controls. Sometimes I, I guess I, I haven't quite used to it yet, where I kind of panic a bit and at least see me leaping around. Um, but anyway, it's, it's actually pretty fun. I don't know what size community there is. Sometimes I, I notice that uh, it doesn't tell you the numbers, so I don't know how long it's going to last for, but... Here we go. See, so you notice your uh, left trigger comes up and I can lock on the target. And again with gear... Uh, sorry, not gears, with the uh, assassins. You notice here, I got caught with... Uh, for some reason, trying to jump in there, where you notice I obviously want to run up the box and chase this guy. But a uh, cool feature is that when you can lock on a target, you hit the left trigger. It gives you a locking, uh, I guess, for a short time period, so it makes it a little easier to chase him. And uh, you can see here, he uh, because of that lock, he tried to hide in that little bush there. And I managed to get a sweet kill on him. Which just happened to the same guy who uh, I killed before. So when I did the tutorial, it does give you hints on. I guess uh, if the pursuer is on you or nearby, supposedly there's whispers or, or so on, which I still haven't heard yet. Uh, maybe I need to turn up the headset more, but I can't tell the difference with the guys near me. I do notice sometimes you're, you'll shake a bit, and if you're close enough, a little icon will come up. A B, or I think it's B, the B button icon will come up to stun them. Uh, I've, I've seen it, but sometimes I don't notice it until it's too late and you're already getting killed. What I find, too, is that... Uh, it's hard not to run, but you really shouldn't run too often because the running really gives away the fact that it's uh, you're a player. Mostly uh, the fake players just walk, and then uh, and here you go. And then here, actually, I think I let the guy walk right past me. I didn't realize who it was, and then until, I, until I noticed the uh, the scanner at the bottom indicated that uh, it changed, to, I guess, to a less of uh, less fine and it pointed in the direction. So as you can see, it, once it hits fully loaded. It tells you really close, and at that point, I think there's an option where it tells you actually finally who it is. But again, you don't want to run because that's going to give it away, and uh, then the other guy will know. And, and then, oh, there, see that again, the left trigger. So you actually expose yourself by killing another guy, and again, this guy tried to jump into the, uh, the flower bed and I'm taking it out. So it's pretty nice. But <laughs> you got to watch out. A lot of times, we're doing the same thing that when you have to, you get a kill, you got to get killed yourself. Anyway, the, the game is actually, like I said before, it's actually pretty fun. I, I, uh, I don't know if, uh, how long I'll get into this, um, but I think I, def I definitely want to play long enough to get a couple of, of the, the perks. So again, I got Frick, Frack, Fruck is, is my target again, and again, the left trigger comes up. I think what he did was he started running, so he kind of exposed himself to who he was, and that gave me a chance to put a lock on. But again, you have to maintain, I guess, a certain amount of eye contact for the lock to stay. This is pretty funny. The guy, I ended up killing him, and then you get to finish him up by kicking him in the head. That's hilarious. So if you look to the right, I remember this part. The guy jumped in the in the grub bed. I thought that was kind of weird. Then I realized again, he's, he's just doing that, setting up, a, I guess, a, a, a hidden kill. And if you look at the points, it's 550 points for this. So I, I guess in this game, or at least this this mode, uh, I guess, like, kill, uh, I guess, uh, creativity or kill style, it counts for a lot. And even with the amount of kills that I got, I'm, I'm already, I'm still near last place with only 450. Here, I brought up the scoreboard, and I noticed that if I think you hit the select button or the back button, it brings it up. Well, it doesn't do it, doesn't get rid of it. It took me a second to, to actually get rid of 
how to get right. I think I hit the start menu and then I close it to finally get rid of that stupid scoreboard. Um, so again, now I'm pursuing this Hobbin guy. And look here, look to the right. Look, he's kind of floating. I don't know if there's a glitch. See, he's kind of skating around there. And uh, in fact, he's actually laying this trap, which I didn't really get. I actually thought he was one of the guys who just, who just uh, left the game. But he was, it was kind of weird. I don't know if that's a glitch, but I didn't like that. Yeah, here's where he hit the B button. Boom. That <laughs> part's hilarious. I don't know. I like that part a lot, actually. But uh, I don't think I think that's the only stun I got in the whole game. Unfortunately, it, uh, it, it came up a few more opportunities, but I, I just just missed it. I didn't even see what the hell it was. Again, I, I recommend uh, not running so much. I think I, I just got a little impatient. And every time I see this on me, I kind of freak out. I think I'm not sure if that means that he's close by or not. Um, but I always get a little nervous that uh, I'm about to get killed. So I still haven't quite figured out. I guess I'm just not patient enough because I like to run around a little bit. But you really got to be patient and utilize your environment. See here, she basically gave herself away or maybe killed someone else and let me just kind of come right from behind. So there you go, he had 350 points there, I guess, for a special silent kill. So again, I think I ended up doing actually not too bad in this game, but a lot of my kills, I guess, weren't, weren't kind of slick or, or, or fancy kills, so I didn't really get a whole lot of points for them, even though I had a decent number of kills. But I like, I like this mode, at least it gives me a little bit of that, that kind of radar at the bottom. I, I, I tried one other mode where I think I had nothing. I think a little, it's a little too hardcore for me right now. I, I can't, sometimes I just can't tell where everyone is. So I'd rather stick with, uh, as a noob right now, I'll just stick with the, the radar. It gives me a good opportunity to figure out where they are, at least, for now. Uh, unless, if I play a little bit more, then maybe I'll, I'll know the maps a little better. And I'll know how to move, move around more. But uh, like for now, I think I'll stick with that. Okay, this time I'm on this viral guy. And uh, I think I felt, at this point, I felt some kind of a, a, a vibration there, so I think I got kind of freaked out thinking that someone was on me. So a lot of times I just kind of back out and try to figure out where they are. So if you'll notice, you hear this like clicking around, I think that indicates that there's a locker is close by, and I just missed it. I still haven't uh, figured out where all, where all the little icons are, I just kind of uh, go with the flow, I guess. So here, he's really right near me, I just don't know who he is, or which one he is. So I'm just trying to figure out where and if you look I think I was actually right beside him I didn't realize he's right there so I ended up having a little mini chase and lucky enough I was basically sneak up behind him and kill him as well so you know if you're really patient you can really just wait around and, and have him expose himself to uh, to figure out who the, who, your, who the guy is but you know the problem is that if you wait too long you're not gonna get enough kills so you, you may do okay as far as kills and, and deaths but you won't win the game because you're just waiting around too much. It's a nice easy one for me. Someone actually stunned, or at least tried to stun my own guy, and then I end up taking most of them. It's more or less reckless, and I don't know what that poacher is. Maybe I stole that guy's kill, I don't know, but... Anyway, like I said, if you just hang around and, and do nothing, and you just observe the crowd, you can pretty much figure out who's who. <laughs> just follow people around. Somebody don't know. I think the guy's that, but I don't know. Here's where that beat came up, and I had the opportunity to stun him. I had no idea that was a guy on me. Um, and I just got to be a little quicker on, on the trigger. Uh, like I said, I don't really know all the controls that well yet. And I, I know them more or less, but not, not to the point where this is instinctive. And hopefully at some point I will. Uh, I will be able to. But, uh, you know, what I really want to get is that, that uh, smoke thing that people are getting. That seems like that's a really big advantage, having that, I guess, a smoke bomb. You give you that extra time to be able to stun them right there. Right there, right there on the right. So you just stun them. Again, my guy there kind of exposed himself. And I just sneak up behind, take him out. So it's only a, it's only 100 points for that kill. You know, you'll notice that a lot of these kills are only worth 100 points. Like, like I said, I guess they're not not that great, but I was pretty happy with how many how many people I killed, and I, I think I ended up with a positive positive uh, kill death ratio at least. Um, but again, the points weren't weren't that great. Um, I think I, I I peaked at about third place, which you know not too bad for considering uh, the level I'm at. And and you know when you see at the end of the scoreboard, I, mean, I think I end up. Because I level up by level three, but everyone I think is a minimum of level 19 or 20. And that was a pretty nice kill, actually. I, 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 um, I guess I uh, hid myself within the crowd, and then uh, you can sneak up behind him and get a sweet kill. So, yeah, and it's really fun actually when you feel you feel that kind of moment when you you know where the guy is and he doesn't know where you are. Here we go. So he just did that to me. That feeling is actually really hilarious. Like it feels really great actually when you can just sneak up someone and just assassinate them. Um, and again, if, if there's a pursuer on you and you have that feeling that someone's on you, it, it, it's, uh, it's a really great feeling actually. It's kind of, you're all nervous and getting and thinking you're going to die.
here the the guy went up. You can see it tells me where it is, and obviously this is I just so I just ran up. There's not much time left. I figured I'd just go for it as quick as possible, and that's probably my mistake. So he, again, he used that stupid uh, smoke on me and then stunned me, and that was it for that. So you know, I could have maybe got another kill if I took that a little more cautiously, but uh, you know what? It was overall it wasn't uh, it wasn't a bad game. If you look at here again. I had seven kills, which is not bad. Only five deaths, but look at the points. Not not that high. So. Uh, not bad for a start. Uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll be able to put some more games in. Uh, you know, even that level 50 guy got it dying twice. I'm uh, sorry, 12 times, but, you know, he won because of his creativity, I guess his kills, and I guess his way to avoid it instead of the So, uh, anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed this uh, commentary. Please like and comment, and check out our, check out our website, GamerBets.com. And uh, hopefully, you'll see more of the uh, Ninja training with Evil Linger. All right, take care.